When you mentioned kitchen table issues, and of course, one of those is having a reliable power supply. And I'm thinking back to February in Texas and the profound outage there and its repercussions across the country. What has to be done now to make sure that the electrical grid is safe and secure for people who rely so intimately on their supplies? Well, I, I think, Francis, you know that President Biden's interested in making an investment in our uh, infrastructure. Um, and that is stated broadly. One of the infrastructure investments that need to be made is in our, in our grid system, our transmission system. There's a couple of reasons why we need to do that, and we need to do it now. One is what happened in Texas. What we now realize is that sort of just like climate change, which isn't about one state or one community, it's about how we have a resilient system um, across the United States. And so the president's interest is in investing in our grid system so that we actually fill these gaps and allow redundancies to happen so that energy can flow where it's needed unabated. And that's what Texas needed. It couldn't handle the challenge it was facing as just a one system, one state. It needed to be connected. And so President Biden is looking through his American Jobs Plan to actually invest in a grid system that's much more resilient and one that sort of works on the seams first to look at how we make that integration happen. And the benefit of that also, Francis, is that it, it opens up opportunities for more renewable energy to be competitive. We know where renewable energy has access to the grid, that, that it wins every time because of its cost, its lower cost than fossil fuels. But we also know that there are many parts of our country where the grid isn't able to actually um, uh, provide access to renewable energy and battery storage and other technologies that are coming to fore that are going to be necessary for us to actually address climate in a systemic across the United States way.